A Delaware County community is still looking for some answers on the stabbing death of a 15 year old boy on Friday night. Today, grief counselors will be on hand for his classmates, while police may have identified two people who know something more about what led to his death. Action News reporter Katie Catro is live at Upper Darby Police with the latest. Good morning. Good morning, Tam and police say they still need the public's help on this one. They are asking for people to look through their surveillance video. I want to show you this photo. This is an image that Delaware County officials have released and you can see it's two people holding hands on Bridge Street, passing Ann Street and headed toward Denison Avenue just after 930 PM. Police are looking to speak with that couple. Officers are asking anyone living in the Oakville section of Drexel Hill or along the Baltimore Pike Corridor in Clifton Heights to check their surveillance video from April 21st from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Police are still looking for who's responsible for the fatal stabbing of 15 year old Michael Gar. The stabbing happened just after 930 p.m. on the 200 block of Bridge Street. Officials say Gar was stabbed in the neck and went into cardiac arrest. He was pronounced dead at the scene. It's terrible. I mean, it's an absolute, it's a disgrace that where we are in society with kids. I mean, how do you get to a point to where kids this age can commit some type of act of violence like this? There's no words to explain it. You know, our hearts go out to the family. We ask that everyone keeps the family in their thoughts and prayers. And the Delaware County Lodge FOP or Lodge 27 is offering a $5,000 reward for anyone with information that leads to an arrest. Gar was also a 10th grader at Upper Darby High School and the school district is offering counseling today. Reporting live here in Upper Darby Township, Katie Catro, Channel 6 Action News. Back to you. Thank you.